Howdy, it's Jim Marado, and this is late September 2022. We're at the Alaska Sea Life Center in Seward, Alaska, and I, I wanted to put just a quick video up about this, and, and mostly I'm just going to show you some fish because I like fish swimming around in aquariums. Uh, I used to have a lot of aquariums when I was younger. Uh, I don't now though but I still like looking at them. And, and just real quick about the Sea Life Center, and I'm gonna take this straight from Wikipedia because it really sums it up. It's Alaska's premier public aquarium and Alaska's only permanent marine mammal rehabilitation facility. It's on the shores of Resurrection Bay. It's open since May 1998. It's dedicated to the understanding and maintaining the integrity of the marine ecosystem of Alaska through research, rehabilitation, conservation, and public education. It's the only facility in the world specifically dedicated to studying the northern marine environment and the only one designed at the outset to combine research with public education and visitor components. Uh, it generates and shares scientific knowledge to promote understanding and stewardship of Alaska's marine ecosystem. And this, this, uh, I thought this was interesting. The Sea Life Center project cost 55 million. Exxon Valdez oil spill settlement funds made up 37.5 million dollars, a portion of the funds dedicated to research and rehabilitation. An additional 12 million dollars was raised by selling bonds, and 1.1 million was raised locally through private donations. It's a private nonprofit corporation with approximately 105 full-time employees and a staff of volunteers. And in September 2011, it was granted accreditation by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And that's uh, pretty significant. Anyway, I thought, uh, I thought that was neat. And we walked around. There's, of course, lots of placards and stuff about, uh, about the animals and fish. They had a nice gift shop. I, of course, dropped some coin there. You could buy a nose prints of sea lions that I thought was pretty neat. And, yeah, again, for the most part, I'm just going to walk around and let you look at the fish and shrimps and other critters. So, yeah, so mostly this is going to be just looking at the, the, the animals in their aquariums. I'll show you a little bit of, of what the facility looks like, too, but otherwise I'll, uh, I'll be quiet through most of this. This is a little area where you can actually kind of stick your hands in and touch some of the animals, which uh, I, I don't know, I always think that's pretty neat. I, I thought it was cool that they had that here. <laughs> I'm taping you too.
Can you walk out here? Yes. Oh, it's rainy. Huh? Is it still out there? Is it them right now? Yeah, oh my gosh. She looks fine, they look fine. She's having the time of her life. She's probably letting them run it out. Yeah. Ah! Did you see him? Right there, right there. Yeah, he is. Actually, I think it's the Loch Ness Monster. Here's another one. Here's another one coming. Hey, we got two of them. Remind me of my dad's fishing lures. He's different. Yeah. Have you seen anything like that? I don't think so. Fish is. This guy's animated. It's like his mouth is sideways to his body. Yeah, the whole thing.
Cool bit of interaction that those kids are gonna remember all their lives that that was just fun to watch those kids were just so excited and uh, yeah that, that was just great and I'll, I'll leave you with some more jellyfish footage I love these guys they're so alien and uh, yeah that was the Alaska Sea Life Center in Seward and of course uh, watching video is not like being there yourself so check that out next time you're in the in that neck of the woods